Hi, I'm King Heidi, and as you may have seen, I made a video about seven months ago called The Rules of Hypixel Bed Wars, in which I kind of sarcastically talked about the ways to get better at bed wars. Well, I've been wanting to make a part two since I made that video, and that time has finally come. Welcome to The Rules of Hypixel Bed Wars 100 Stars Later. One of the tips I didn't script is actually going to your free daily rewards and actually getting those. It's a really good idea to do that so you can level up in high pixel and get like actually cool rewards. <coughs> now, for starters, we'll go through the old video and talk about the tips I gave point by point. The first things I said were to 1. Use a client such as Bad Lion or Lunar, and 2. Use 1.8.9 Minecraft. So, first of all, you most definitely want to be on Bad Lion. Um, or Lunar, or something. Just, just... Just don't play on regular Minecraft, please. Don't play on the latest version of Minecraft. Play on 1.8.9, it would be so much better. The client rule is valid to an extent. I'd change it to be don't use vanilla Minecraft, use mods that are allowed on Hypixel, and make sure they are approved for use. Any mod usage on Hypixel is used at your own risk, so even approved mods could have an issue and become bannable. Lunar, for example, disables mods automatically when Hypixel blacklists them, like what happened to Freelook. That's one reason why I recommend a client over something like just plain CurseForge. And honestly, Rule 2 still stands. If you are on Hypixel on any version other than 1.8, you are at a disadvantage. This is because Hypixel runs on 1.8 versions, meaning using a 1.8 client is more compatible with the server. It's also pre-combat update, meaning block hitting isn't possible on other versions post 1.8. On top of this, because it is an older version, it has more texture packs and mods available. Lesson 1. Never play one of these versions. For rule 3, instead of saying to never play dream game modes, I'd say to play them enough to get your wins for the week. That way you will level up significantly faster. You're gonna want to do a partner for this though. Lesson 2. Never play solos. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, guys, never play solos ever. <laughs> that is a good rule. <laughs> but seriously, I solo queue all the time now. I find it's a good way to get really good way faster because of having to learn the PvP style and also because you will get better individually instead of getting better playing with specific people. I used to actually recommend playing ranked Skywars in order to get better at PvP because it forces you to learn faster and learn the sweatier ways to play, but honestly that game mode has so many hackers I'm not even sure it's worth it anymore. Regular Skywars is also filled with hackers, but at this point it may turn out to be better practice or maybe doing Skywars duels. I recommend PvPing with a Void, or if you want to be better at PvP in general and not just Bedwars style, do other kinds of PvP to learn more about 1.8 combat in general. But maybe try logging on at different times, because different times will have different players online. Pay special attention to when the ranked Skywar season is coming to an end, because there will probably be a massive increase in the amount of hackers on the server in general. Also, if you have a low CPS, I recommend using block hitting, because it will increase your knockback despite the lower CPS, if you time it right. If you time it right. But a more in-depth video on stuff like that is something I can make if you guys want me to. If you are trying to increase your clicks per second using different clicking methods, focus mostly on your aim while doing so. 18 CPS isn't worth it if you're only hitting air. Test out a few different strategies too to see what works better for you. I like using bed bugs a lot because they really throw players off and are a better distraction than fireballs if timed correctly. At the same time, even though we mostly talked about solo games, do keep queuing team games so you can actually play with a team instead of being a solo rusher like every other fucking sweat. I find it's best to do that with a party you can voice chat with because it'll improve communication massively. My win streak team wouldn't have kept our streak if we randomly queued or queued without being in a voice chat together. On that note of team play, don't stick to just one playstyle. Have a couple different strategies to float between so you can go from solo queuing to playing with a full party more easily. One thing I will say is maybe avoid the use of obsidian because higher level players are likely to farm you if you put obsidian on your bed. It can be a good strat if kept hidden throughout the game but once somebody finds out about it, there's a chance they shout about it in chat and you get hardcore targeted to get you out of the game. Another lesson, rush immediately. It's kill or get killed. Actually, I 
Don't advise being the first to rush. Let them bridge to you, especially if you aren't that confident in your bridging skills yet. One strat I like to use is hiding in my base once I place my initial defense down because most players won't think to look for you at that point in the match. The only time this doesn't really work is when the player has TNT or maybe they're higher level and have seen this before. Or if you are itching to rush, push the diamond gen first. Diamond upgrades can be the difference between you winning or losing a fight. That one layer of prot or that mining fatigue trap could absolutely save your bet and keep you in the game longer. And honestly, that actually leads into fall damage, which can also be the difference between a win or a loss. Ladders are a good way to clutch, or using blocks to minimize the damage you take. That harder too could be what the other person wins by. I legit cannot express how rage inducing it is when the person you just fought wins against you with zero health remaining. Using fireballs, bedbugs, or even a bow are all good strategies to lower the other person's health if you can't take them in a full 1v1. It's hard, to kill it's hard to damage kill stacked players unless you are absolutely stacked yourself, are really good at strafing, or get an insane combo. So other strats can be put to use in order to get you that win. Another rule is to have tools on you before you rush. This mostly applies to 3s and 4s, but having even tier 1 tools can be all the difference. Upgrade your tools when you can, but don't max them out unless you're a final and you've got nothing else to waste resources on. Or if some asshole in the game buys obsidian, I guess. I hate the obby strat, I hate that it works so well, but sometimes fucking hell. Finally, I think my last piece of advice is to not call out hackers in chat. No matter how sure you are that they're hacking, there's always a chance that they aren't and you'll just feed that player's ego if you do call them a hacker. Believe me, it happens to me all too much and it honestly annoys me a little considering I have no infractions on Hypixel at all, but it is a bit of an ego boost at the same time. And as tempting as it is, don't be toxic in chat. If another player is being toxic, be like sickeningly nice to them. It pisses them off way more and it's much funnier to watch. Plus, you won't be at risk of getting muted for it. And that's all I have for you guys this video. A quick update for my subscribers, I am now back on a regular upload schedule. I got a new PC and you'll have new content on this channel for me every Saturday at 3pm Eastern Standard. Plus, a new 100 days video on the last day of every month. And if you want to head over to my Twitch, I'll be going live every Monday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard and every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard. And finally, guys, just join the Discord for updates and a fun community to vibe with. You'll also get some cool emotes. Big thanks to Ari or Arx for editing this video. All his links will be in the description as well. And with that, put down your pencils class and go watch another video, I guess. Probably one of the ones on screen. Sound cool? Great. Bye.